Question 1.3 deals with a situation where a business bought $200 of stationery and at the end of the year there's $5 of it left, meaning $195 has been used. So option A would be to record $195 of expenses and a $5 asset. A second option we could choose is out of the $200, considering there's only $5 left in reality, why don't we just record a $200 expense? So the question we've been asked to answer is, should the business either follow option A and record $195 expense and a $5 asset, or follow option B and record a $200 expense and a $0 asset? So to answer that question, I'm going to rely on a qualitative characteristic to back up my opinion, and I'm going to go with option B and state that the entire $200 should be written off as an expense as the $5 of stationary left over is not an asset. Even though it does exist and it's on hand, I'm still not going to record it as an asset. So I've identified relevance. I've now defined it. Information is relevant if it influences the decision making of the business and I'm going to relate it. So to relate in this question, I'm going to use the concept of materiality. Is something large enough to influence our decision? And I'm going to say no. The $5 left over is not material or large, or large enough to impact the firm's decision making. It really doesn't matter whether we call it a $200 expense or a $195 expense. It's probably not worth keeping the asset on the firm's books for $5.